Hello everyone, hope you're well. So, a massive story here as far as I'm concerned, okay? Because what it does, it sets a precedent for how they want things to continue, okay? So, UK Vaccines Minister appeals for help to trace person with new Brazilian COVID variant. So now what we have is a situation where people are supposedly getting tracked because they brought a variant into the country, yeah? And then what they'll do is they'll say, oh, now we're tracking someone from Milton Keynes because they brought the Milton Keynes variant. It's just, where's it going to end? People need to wake up and stop listening to this and actually call these people out for the liars that they are, okay? This is not going to stop. They will just use this forever. They will just say a new variant has appeared, a new variant has appeared, someone slipped through the border, we don't know where they are, and it's just going to cause panic, yeah, because people think that they're going to catch this pathetic variant, yeah? What a joke, guys. So you got this idiot here, you got this idiot here, again, with the Union Jack flag, because, you know, he's so patriotic, yeah, he only wants the best for this country, and that's why he's defending the borders against the dangerous Brazilian COVID variant, you know? Watch out for the Wolverhampton variant, the Outer Mongolian variant, the Magaluf variant, the Ibiza variant, yeah? It's limitless. They can take this as far as they want. They can say what they want, when they want, and you will just believe it, and you will give up your liberty and your freedom for supposed security. And we know how that ends. All right? So I'm telling you now, guys, this is serious. Call them out for the lies that they are. And what I want to know what I want to know is how are they going to, how are they supposedly going to find these people? What technology are they going to employ? Yeah? Are they going to have a manhunt? Yeah? Are they going to have like helicopters in the sky? Yeah? They can take this where they want it. Okay. Now, the other thing that concerns me about this is that they say that they appeal for help. So now they're asking the general public to help them find someone who has the Brazilian variant. Are you serious? What, what are you going to do? Have like a crowd full of people with pitchforks saying, kill the Brazilian variant carrier. Is that what's going to happen? Manhunts. You're going to have, like, faces of people on milk cartons who have brought variants into the country. Yeah? Most wanted posters. Forget Bin Laden. It will be the person who brought the uh, Magaluf variant in, in 2022. Yeah? It's getting beyond a joke. And now this is actual Big Brother stuff now. Because what they're saying is they're trying to find someone who's come into a country who's brought a variant in. So, while others bury their hands in the sand and, and think that nothing's going on and just carry on with life as it was before, you know, caring about pathetic stuff like, oh, I'm going to do 50 press-ups today. Brilliant. Is that going to stop the New World Order, is it? Is that going to stop people um, having their freedom taken away? No. No, it's not. But like I said, people still live in life as if nothing was happening. As if we weren't being lied to day in, day out about people dying, people's deaths. As if we're not growing up with children seeing their parents with masks. But no, as long as you do your 50 press-ups and all this shit, irrelevant shit, yeah? The real warriors actually stand up with their heart and their actions and their words. Yeah, real warriors stand up. Real warriors speak out. Real warriors look after the vulnerable and they speak and they look after the vulnerable. Those who can't look after themselves. That's what real warriors do. Real warriors don't care about what they look like in the mirror in their 200 pound trainers. 
real warriors don't care about the size of their bloody pecs or, or whatever, yeah? Real warriors stand up and they make change when change is needed. And to all you cowards and traitors who got your head in the sand or purposely doing it, I hope the guilt eats away at you. Yeah, because you're, you're responsible for many people dying in the future. Now I, I go to sleep guilt free because I'm trying my best every day to wake people up, to expose the snakes, to show people what's really going on, to give you the information to empower you, yeah? Okay, so let's read the headline again so we know what we're up against. UK vaccines minister, and they actually have to have a minister in charge of this now, yeah? He appeals for help to trace person with new Brazilian COVID variant. So they're asking for help to track one person. So it's a one person manhunt and they're appealing to you to help them. Yeah. And like I said, what, what technology, uh, what measures will they use to so-called find this person? Because let's be honest with you, it's a load of crap anyway. It's, it's a load of lies. Um, they could come on the news tomorrow and say, oh, yeah, there is a Monaco variant. Yeah. No, they wouldn't choose Monaco because Monaco is where all the rich people and the people who avoid tax go. So it will be somewhere slightly poorer. You know? Um, but, yeah, that's where it's going to end up. Whenever they want to um, stop things happening... So whenever they feel like they need to stop people awakening, what they can do is they can bring out another false story like this and say there's a new variant and someone's brought it into the country and we need to all find out who it is and, you know, get our pitchforks out. That's what it seems like to me. That's what they want. They want this mentality where um, we're being infiltrated by people who are bringing in deadly viruses and they must be found and tracked and traced and punished. It's disgusting, guys. And like I said, when you're in the media, you have the power to say anything and people believe it. So again, again, I say, it's not my choice to live like this. Not my new normal. And I will do everything that I can and so will my family to stop this happening. And if we can't stop it, then what we'll do is we will create another reality, another world, another system, another community, something that works much better than this system built on lies and blood debt, yeah? And oil and gold and drugs, yeah? We will build a community that's worth more than that. And they don't want us to do that, and that's why they attack my channel. But my channel is more than a channel, it's an idea, it's a philosophy, and ideas live on forever. So again, again I say to you, I hope these words inspire. That's what I'm here for. We are the resistance. This is like the resistance radio. And if you can hear me, you're part of that resistance. So it's, it's up to you to stand up now and help me help others who have also stood up. Okay? There's many snakes, there's many traitors. But the thing is, they don't have the power. We have the power. And that's why they have to be devious and manipulative. But realize, realize, realize. So take care for now. This is John Overkill. We are over and out, people. Power to you all.